Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tidbit for Tuesday, September 2nd. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Well, here's the Atlantic, and uh, not much of note except for newly formed Tropical Storm Dolly here in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. This was from uh, this area of disturbed weather and convergence that came from east of the Caribbean and consolidated slowly on its way west. Remember, we had... Uh, Cristobal move out. We had the burst underneath that we talked about would need to be watched as it came farther west and then the slowly got organized east of the Yucatan and is now in the Gulf and sure enough we have a tropical storm here although be it rather weak and uh, this really won't strengthen very much before coming ashore. You can see the Hurricane Center forecast right into Mexico here within just a, just a few hours really and uh, the recon flight in there today uh, finding uh, pressure is actually rising a tad, not really strengthening, and you can see the wind field very, very lackluster. All the strong winds are well removed from the center here off to the northeast in the strong quadrant of the storm, and uh, some wind shear really preventing this from getting going along with some fairly unfavorable low-level flow. You see these clouds just racing away from the storm in the low levels. That's always a bad sign uh, for the storm. It will not strengthen, but a good sign for Mexico, which will only have rain from this system, really no other major issues. But of course, tropical storm warnings up for the coastline as this moves ashore, but really no big deal. And uh, so beyond Dolly, really, we can already look beyond this short-lived storm to the rest of the Atlantic, which is quiet and uh, abnormally so. This is now, we're entering the peak week climatologically of the hurricane season. The first couple weeks of September are when we see the most hurricanes and tropical storms usually during the year and this is really abnormally quiet and we've talked about expecting this and although there will be chances for storms we have dolly we've got more waves coming off africa which i'll show you in a minute um, but really a quieter season than normal is continuing to meet those expectations but again things can always pop up sometimes very quickly like Dolly just showing up here in the Gulf right before landfall. Uh, and in a more favorable environment, this could have been a bigger deal for Mexico. Those kind of storms popping up close to the coast are stuff that people have to be aware of during the peak of the season when really anything can happen. But in general, this year is expected to stay quieter than usual. This is Africa. We're watching a couple more waves. That will be coming off, and again, this time of year is the peak time for these African waves or Cape Verde waves, and they come off, and uh, they've been struggling out here. You can see a couple of them. Here's one, here's two. You see they lose all their thunderstorms after they come off of the continent here, so they are struggling, but there is a chance for some of these to develop eventually, and we have the GFS Ensemble showing a couple of these areas by day eight here, a lot of members developing storms out of these, so we'll see how that goes. You also see Again, it's showing development in the Bay of Campeche here in the southern Gulf of Mexico. And uh, unlike Dolly, I think this might be a little suspect because the GFS is cranking the Madden Julian oscillation, the MJO, into phase one, which cranks upward motion over this area of the world right here. But the European and Canadian models disagree about the MJO. And usually when the European and the GFS disagree on the MJO, the European wins. The GFS has a bias in this area of the world here. So this may be errant, but that's not to say that something could not form in here. It's not necessarily the case. This is eight days out, so we'll just have to watch and see what happens in the middle of the basin. But right now, no imminent threats after Dolly moves ashore. So the abnormally quiet peak of the hurricane season continues, but it is the peak. So anything can happen. So keep your guard up and have that plan ready just in case. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.